Would you like a cigarette? No, I don't smoke. So, Sarah's your wife? Really? What, I'm just making conversation with more fun at a morgue? Uh, no, Sarah's not my wife, but I like to think she could have been. Was she an officer as well? Yeah. Yeah, we were in training together. She used to live in the Glen as well. We used to meet for walks. After a while, it became more than that. When my dad died, she moved in and we lived together for 15 years. And you never proposed? Never. my shift one day and she was with a man from her department. She didn't stay long after that. She's married now in Scotland, I think. Can't be certain. And you left the service after that? Left. Forcibly removed, more like. I hit a man with a car. He didn't survive the impact and I was handed my notice shortly after that when they discovered my drinking. It's into other ways of making money. 19 years in the force gives you a good understanding of how to avoid it. You got a girl, Riley? Yeah. Does she know about this? <laughs> Only that I'm on a business trip. Bergman's dead. What the hell happened? He's dead about 20 minutes ago. Riley. What the fuck are you doing? You had a brandy. You don't start an interrogation with a statement. Start it as I see fit. Did you have a brandy? Yes, you bloody well watched me. To us. Hang on, the Brennigan. The case isn't open yet. We don't even know if it has the money. It does. I believe our friend Ronson's held two million on more than a few occasions. And then some. How long will it take? Long enough. Nothing you haven't seen before, though. Couldn't we just cut it open? I mean, I'm sure a briefcase like that isn't hard to get through. Where's the fun in that? Quite. Besides, I'd prefer for my banknotes not to be mauled by a hacksaw blade. Let's leave Bergman to work his magic. Shut off me! Brannigan! You alright? What was it Brannigan said you did again? I was a foreign contact for the war office. Six years. MI6? Well, it's had many names. I thought agents weren't allowed to talk about that. But they're not. They've got good enough reason to kill me already. There was a bit of a balls up. One Ronson's department didn't come out well from. Probably best not to ask any more questions, Riley. You okay? Never better. Look, I, I pulled mine while everyone was in the room. Somebody would have noticed. Then why did you walk off so suddenly in the first place? I don't know. I just felt uneasy about something. 
Turns out I was right to be so. That doesn't help your case much. I realise. You want the money for yourself, is that it? I only want my fair share. You didn't answer my question. But you know full well 400 grand perfectly suits my needs. Perfectly suits my needs. He may not have killed Bergman, but he's not completely unreadable. He knows something. I'm gonna go talk to him again. Why? Don't talk. Oh, that one wasn't poisoned. Let's leave Bergman to work his magic. We'll never get away with this. Ransom picked up on the poison straight away. I don't know. Just felt uneasy about something. Are you okay? Turns out I was right to be so. That doesn't help your case much. I realise. He was going to tell. And then Riley would have run. When he worked it out, he came after me. He tried. I... I have to kill you. Who is it? He knows. They've known all along. Good evening.
We have, in the past few hours, received intelligence of a raid planned on one of our planes. With the intention of taking a certain two million pound shipment we presently have in transferal. This raid, I am also informed, you have a role in yourself. Now you must realise how much of an inconvenience this whole situation is. And as such, I must ask you to comply with the following terms. You must let the heist take place without arising any suspicion, and proceed to discreetly write off each of your counterparts in turn, before noon on Friday, at which time I will meet you to retrieve the case, unopened. If any of these criteria are not satisfactorily met, you will join the fate of your friends. Nothing personal, of course. I look forward to meeting you.